Hello friends, welcome to Akul Mag Business Channel and uh, today I would like to talk about Moon. Moon is our nearest neighbor and it is just a three days ride as we have seen in the 70s. But after the Apollo Moon mission, we have not gone physically on the surface of the moon. And uh, there are a lot of challenges in establishing the colony, the human colony on the moon. But things are changing very rapidly. Let us discuss about this uh, new development. My name is Chandrakant and you are watching Multiverse. Hello friends, uh, we have to talk about the Chandrayaan which is the ISRO mission which is the Indian Space Agency. Uh, their uh, lunar module called Chandrayaan 1 uh, has to be credited because the Chandrayaan basically detected water on the surface of the moon and later scientists confirmed that there is so much water on the surface of the moon if processed properly and recycled properly it can support something like a trillion human beings a settlement of trillion human beings which is much more than the current population population of the earth so this is one significant uh, uh, finding that we have on the uh, moon which is availability of water and uh, uh, how to travel on the moon actually this was uh, done by nasa in 70s and uh, they have physically landed man on the surface of the moon and there are several, several uh, Apollo missions which were planned uh, and subsequently also they have been mapping the moon, they are conducting a lot of uh, experiments and uh, now because of NASA and also the Russian space agencies which is not sent humans on the moon but they have sent a lot of robotic probes and a lot of uh, uh, vehicles which move around. So both of these agencies have done a lot of uh, research in terms of understanding the surface of the moon and also analyzing where the settlement can be made and uh, in, in case uh, uh, the settlement human settlement is uh, made on the surface of the moon what are the challenges uh, we are going to face so a lot of the, these uh, findings have been uh, done by uh, russians and as well as uh, american and uh, the indians uh, have detected uh, water and subsequently what has happened is that we now know that uh, settling on the surface of the moon is not going to be possible simply because of many challenges uh, let me repeat few of them uh, for the uh, sake of understanding first is low gravity there is nothing much we can do about it the gravity on moon is uh, one sixth of the earth gravity so we have to find out ways and means to stay fit while we are living on the surface of the moon uh, then there is no atmosphere but that is also not a big big thing because we can create close confined places and create artificial atmosphere and survive we can actually convert some of this water which has been found uh, on the surface of the moon to uh, generate uh, our fuel which is hydrogen and also also breathable oxygen so that is not a big deal we have the technology right now available and then the third biggest challenge is the temperature since the moon does not have the atmosphere, there is no normalization of temperature or the sunlight. So if you are standing in direct sunlight, you will experience on an average uh, something like 120 degrees uh, Celsius, a temperature which is boiling. And that is a temperature most of the life cannot survive. So when you are standing in the sunlight, this is a temperature you will get. But when you are standing in the shade, the temperature drops to minus 183 where you will freeze so from uh, illuminated area to a dark area the temperature variation is so rapid and th this is all because of uh, no atmosphere being present on the uh, uh, surface of the moon on the moon basically to normalize the temperature so that is the biggest challenge i mean if, even if we set up uh, the colony the, the walls of the colony will have to be made of special material which can withstand high temperature and low temperature both at the same time because the shade on that uh, uh, facility will have lower temperature on the other side. So the material has to withstand very high temperature as well as low temperature both at the same time which is a big challenge you know we need to do a lot of research in the material science. However the uh, research that has been conducted so far we have found that even moon shows these uh, structure called lava tubes 
now when they uh, if we find lava tubes on earth also whenever there is a eruption and uh, the lava uh, is a very hot uh, you know rock in liquid form so when it flows under the ground it creates it actually melts and finds its way uh, through the ground and it creates a tube so when it is flowing through the ground it will find its way into the ground create a tube like this and then uh, you know goes away and solidifies once it solidifies it leaves the the empty tube which we uh, basically uh, uh, call as lava caves on earth similar structures are found on the moon as you can see in this picture there are a lot of lava tubes and these are very ancient very hard rock so uh, well probably these lava tubes were formed when the moon was uh, very hot very early when it was formed and there were a lot of uh, hot rock which was flowing around on the surface and consequently there are a lot of lava tubes that scientists have been able to locate and at some point in time these lava tubes uh, roof collapses because they are very old obviously the structures uh, are very very old at least 4 billion years old and it forms a sort of a pit so there are ready made pits available and there are ready made uh, lava tubes available so scientists have recently found that the temperature within these pits and also inside the lava tube is maintained at 70 degrees celsius throughout whether it is day or night throughout so which is very very convenient for humans to settle so now we find that there are ready made structures ready made entry points into these caves where we can establish our settlement and uh, we don't have to create lot of uh, uh, you know habitats artificial habitat on the surface and these tubes are going to naturally protect our settlement and will also give us uh, entry and exit uh, from these uh, uh, habitable zones which are meant, which are actually at a very conducive temperature of 17 degrees so this is the latest finding and uh, this has given a lot of excitement to the uh, community the space uh, community and astronauts and therefore the there is a fresh energy in all the space agencies and you know that i would like to talk about the nasa artemis uh, moon mission so they are already preparing to send fresh uh, lunar uh, uh, probes into moon and trying to establish with the intention of establishing a moon base so they are already working on it and uh, similarly uh, the private uh, entity which is the spacex owned by uh, elon musk is already working on uh, their biggest uh, rocket called starship and uh, the way the spacex is working is that once the starship is able to land uh, it's, it, it is going to have something like eight story high structure so it will bring the habitat uh, the temporary habitat uh, for humans to settle down and uh, while it, uh, while this uh, lava tubes can be used to create permanent structure on the moon these starships can be used can develop as a temporary uh, human habitat so there are uh, you know uh, these development happening and also what i've heard is that isro which is an indian space features uh, organization is also working towards uh, sending uh, uh, a moon mission so there is a new excitement which is uh, uh, which is going on and uh, because of this uh, new finding that the moon can now have a conducive temperature for humans to survive has given a new uh, you know new excitement to the uh, space community space uh, firing community the people who want to go into space and it is also very important for us to first go to the moon because it's close by and practice how to establish our colony on the moon before we look at other destinations like Mars. So friends, uh, this is something which I thought I will uh, talk about today. What is your opinion? Do you have any comments? I look forward to receiving those. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.